What's going on everybody? This is Super Robot Ed and today we have in front of you the Origin Autobot Jazz from the Buzzworthy Bumblebee line. This is supposed to be a Target exclusive, but it is not a Target yet per se. I got this from none other than Hasbro Pulse. Uh, so we had to pay for shipping and all that good stuff. So what do we get in the box? We simply get the Jazz figure. This nice... This is a... Man, this thing is nice, man. This, this thing is gorgeous, man. Whoever made this, you... Kudos to the designers. This is this is what we wanted. And the gun splits into two pieces and it kind of gives the harpoon effect for throwing a line. But I wish they had like a little hose or something you could have put there to make it look like it's shooting off. But that's basically it. The gun comes in two pieces. We'll take a look at the box. We do some comparisons and then we'll show off robot mode and then we'll wrap it up. And here's the box. Here is the artwork on the side. And this artwork on the side is one that I like. Uh, turn it around here. You get to see the front. You get to see the side. The structures are in the box. I'm not going to take this box apart. Has Evil Fusion. All right. 20 steps to transform. <laughs> Legacy Evolution line. Yeah. It's all that. It's all that. It's all that. All right. So let's put the gun back on the top of him real quick. Then we're going to do some comparisons first. Not going to do a whole lot because I got a lot of reviews to do today. Here is the first origin figure from the Buzzworthy line, Target exclusive, the Bumblebee. And even though they weren't in the same shot, I would love to see the wheel jack, that's all. But this is how they look together and they're very similar in design and you know, where a lot of the underside of the vehicle has, you know, just the robot parts hanging off. And like, there's no wheels. There's the chest, the faux chest, which I would love to see them do like, Kind of like masterpiece where they make the vehicle move but have like that you know like the full look kind of like it started i think with like uh masterpiece sunstreak where he has like a full chest and it works um you know it kind of did it with him but here's the other side no wheels but you're not really going to be trying to slide this like i'll slide across this surface but i wouldn't slide across like this carpet or something um but you can see here on the side it's got a clear window has a sim has the uh Yes, that's the feet, but I mean everything folds up nicely. This is the one thing I like about it. It's very compact. And let me just take that. There's that nice Autobot symbol. It's just I don't know. It's amazing to see this come to life. And it's just awesome. And like I said, it just everything about it is very nice. It's very nice. And so let's put the gun back on real quick. And like I said before, there's the bumblebee. And it's not about him. And then we're going to compare them with uh, Jazz. And here is the, I mean, Studio Series 86 Jazz. And you can see kind of like where he was on Cybertron. He had this, you know, big spoiler. And then, of course, when he comes to Porsche, and I want to take the guns off because it's hard to show this off this way. But you can see here, like, the, you know, you could say, like, this might have been a Porsche on Cybertron. But he has, like, the whale spoiler and everything. Um, he sits a little high, and that's because of the body and everything like that at the bottom and the, you know, feet, for, the arms forming kind of like a hover pattern. Um, so he's not going to sit low to the ground. But, I mean, the details to see where they went, I think that's pretty good. And correct me if I'm wrong, I still love Studio Series 86 Jazz, man. Like, I love the sculpt of this one, but I love this one just a tiny bit better. So that's a comparison of the vehicle modes and everything like that. And we're going to stop right here, pause for the cause, and then we return. We're going to go ahead and do transformation and do the uh, final review. And of course, we'll always be back in two and two. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and do transformation. It's going to be one moment here to show this off. Now, I've only done this twice because I am going to. Uh, kind of put this up because like I said my main uh jazz is going to be studio a6 but I just love this figure so basically I just fold those out of the way first just to kind of these side panels and they'll latch on to the door right here and you'll see like that that hole right there that's where they uh latch into so just keep that in mind you know get a little bit less light there and then what we're gonna do next is lift this up and pull the feet out 
These are going to be the legs. These are going to you want to pull those off first because you want to be able to lift that up and just continue to kind of fold it up and open these up right here. When you open those up, you could kind of just put the legs down. And why I start with the legs, I don't know. At least don't ask me questions. I just start with the legs if I want. It's my toy. You start whenever you want on your toy. And then basically you just fold this in because that's just going to fold in and there's like a slot right there that folds in too. So you just kind of just and it just folds in and it'll, and it'll latch on. So do the same thing on the other side. Fold this down, turn around and you have to angle it just right to get that clip to go in. But once you get it to go in, it's in and then you know, just flip the feet out. Okay. Foot. A foot. You just put the feet out. And then put the feet out on the other side. Now, once you've got that, what do we do with this stuff back here? So what we're gonna do with this. Let's just kind of move that out the way, and then this will kind of just kind of fold that up. You see, it's like a accordion action, fold that up. That's the backpack. The arms are right here. And what they're gonna do, they're gonna open up like that. And there's a lot of cool things in here. And it's got like this nice little hefty weight to it. And you'll notice on the arms, we have a hole. In it, and that's gonna be important. We're gonna show that off why that's there. And I wish it was on the uh, Studio Series 86 Jazz. And of course it's not. But of course, you're gonna flip the fist out for now because we're gonna show off that. The faux chest will come down. And I do believe it, there's like a tab, see that clear tab right there. And it's gonna go right in that slot and just put that in there, pull the backpack down, and just kind of give it a little push down and boom, you got, wow, Cybertronian Jazz. And this one just looks so much better than uh the, well i don't say it looks better i just love the scope and that's what I mean, we'll talk at the end of the video i don't want to go through all this so you only get this one accessory is the gun now why is the feature with the fist so important but, oh let's go over articulation so of course he does the leg that kicks out the here the feet goes to there the back of the leg goes to there of course there's the backpack he's got the waist the swivel you know and yes he i think he can 360 360 heads on a ball joint looks up and down turns to the left right side 360 arms go out to here with a little bit of a give due to that hinge there for transformation also let's make sure we're in focus he has elbow he doesn't have fist rotation but he does have elbow oh yeah you know, he doesn't i didn't really check all that and then of course like i said can he van down Oh, yes. <laughs> Bam, damn. Then after that, from the back, it's clean. You know, it's just clean. Like, it's just clean. Now, the gun. So with the gun, like I told you earlier in the video, separates. And it separates into three parts. So when you got the gun, you can have the traditional gun. And then you have this separation here, which is, I kind of like Hasbro, you gotta be careful. These little small parts, you know, you're trying to get away from that. But that's supposed to be a harpoon and it, you know, shoots off. And like I said, I really wish it had like a rubber hose or something, but that's neither here nor there. But to get that effect, you know, like throw me a line, you got it. This is why I wish the Studio Series uh, figure had something similar. You fold that in, you get the hole right there. You can put this in first. And, you know, you get that effect. So now what you got is when he gets ready to do that, throw me a line thing and it forms right there. And the fact that he give that, it gives him that, you know, appearance that he's changed his fist. And then you would, you know, put this in and it gives the effect that he can shoot off a harpoon. And I think that is neat. Um, you know, there are always some, you know, Nice little special accessories they added with the Bumblebee, you know, Buzzworthy Bumblebee origin figure so far. And that being that the Bumblebee has the backpack, which you need to paint it. <laughs> and then you just put the gun in this hand and, 
you know, it's nice. You know, like this nice, nice, nice figure. I dig it. I just love the sculpt. It kind of reminds me of the 88 Pretender Jazz in that thing. You know, like I said, he can do some amazing poses. So what are we going to do next? We're going to bring in some figures and we're going to wrap this puppy up. Uh, the next one is going to be none other than the Buzzworthy Bumblebee. And uh, like I said, there's the accessories. So look, my accessory, I kind of painted mine chrome. And I thought that looked better than just a plain black. And I think now it looks more like a backpack. This is the special accessory that comes with Bumblebee, the backpack. And of course, you can use it with the... The other thing I like about the him over him, as far as the accessory, you can use this with any figure that has a five millimeter port in the back. So you can put this on uh, Bumblebee's back, on if you have the Studio Series, any one of, not Studio Series, but any one of the, uh, uh, you know, War for Cybertron mini, mini Bumblebee version. Like, you know, we've got so many repaints of them, but you can take that backpack off and then put this backpack on the back and give them that, uh, flying booster look so you know that's why i kind of dig this but i think this one looks better than this but this one still is good in its own way this is so much that they had to do i think this is the learning curve and i think this is where they got into okay we got it now all right so they're gonna show off him next to none other than my just recently painted <laughs> i'm still working on getting him set up and that's the studio series 86 jazz and darkening because if you see the head on this guy, his, this is actually very G1. I, I almost wish I bought two just to maybe try to do a head swap. And I want to kind of compare the two. They're almost the same, but not quite. And I had to paint him darker, darken the visor and get like a little more of a silver touch. And then I kind of darkened the headlights and I got to clean up the blue. But you can see the differences. This is very G1 toy-esque actually this looks more animation model but this is you know because he's a porsche like if he had the full chest and they put like the porsche parts on the back they could literally retool this guy to be in into a porsche and that would be so cool because that's a new evolution that i don't think has been really reached yet and i'm gonna talk about the interview but you can see here they both look good I mean, personally, he's going to be on the shelf because my shelf is G1, but boy, it was really hard to go between the two. And I still got to, like I said, I got to clean a lot of stuff up um, with him when I get through customizing just the chest and the face. But the face is done. I got the, blue, the visor dark and I just need to get some more details here. But the face on both of them are good, but I think the face here is more anime accurate. So that's a comparison of two. And they're pretty much the same size, I think. Uh, Studio Series Jazz is a little taller, not by much, um, but they are about in the five inch range, four and a half to five inch range category. I don't have a ruler anymore. I lost that a long time ago. All right, let me move this out the way. Final thoughts. There's so much they can do with this. Now that we have seen what they can do with Jazz, Real Jack seems like a no brainer. But not only that, what I'm suggesting, and I'm going to keep this short, and I'm probably going to edit some of that out is we could get a G1 mold using this, this silhouette. Oh man, boy, you talk about jazz. Cause you don't, you know, this, ooh, this figure looks a lot better than, <laughs> I mean, it, it just, yeah, yeah. I could see them making this, like this should be the way they go for the future. Like going forward, I think we need to follow like kind of the practice of masterpiece. These parts could be swapped out for, you know, Porsche looking parts and still maintain the silhouette and instead maybe, you know, figure out how to incorporate the wheels some way, somehow. I think it could work. And that's just my opinion. I am impressed with this figure. I have, I've been thoroughly just impressed. I have to think I, I I do play with this, even though it's not the jazz that's on my shelf. I do play with this. It's a this is a fantastic, just fantastic. This is this is an example of Hasbro just doing things right. And I gotta say it, it is right. So it is right. I mean it 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 is right. It is right. It is just a right figure. I'm done. Go out and get this figure. Go, go out and get this figure. Just go out and get him. It's a piece of history from G1. 
It's a very good looking scope. Even if you don't have Studio Series Jazz, you can still use this Jazz. Just get it. Buzzworthy one will be uh, Origins Jazz, Cybertronian Jazz. End of story. It's great. It's great. It's great. Thank you. Uh, again, my name is Super Robot Ed. Bring you more news and reviews. Until then, we'll see you soon. Bye bye.